people. Good morning. It's another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? What's up, gamers? Oh, we, we're talking about this uh, Activision court case again. Listen to this. Just found this article on uh, Tech for Gamers. What's up, Tech for Gamers? Listen to this. CMA expect CMA expect to approve Activision acquisition this week. Hmm. Says just over a month, the CMA changed its stance on the long running Activision Blizzard acquisition. The regulator was previously not too fond of Microsoft owning the owning IP like Diablo, Overwatch, and most importantly, Call of Duty. However, the CMA latest reports claim that Microsoft would not have much incentive to make Call of Duty exclusive. While this was great news for Microsoft and Activision, Sony was Sony was too happy with Sony Sony was too happy with this report. <laughs> The CMA final decision is due April 26th, just two days before the regulators give its final ver verdict on the merger. The Financial Times expects that the decision will be made in favor of Activision and Microsoft. It says here, while the CMA was not too concerned about console gaming in the last report, the regulators remain skeptical about the cloud gaming space and announced that future efforts would ensure that the merger would not give Microsoft too much power in the cloud gaming market. Previously, Microsoft has signed multiple agreements with companies like Nintendo. The gaming giant also signed deals with various cloud pro cloud providers like Boosteroid, NVIDIA, and Ubitus. However, it remains to be seen whether these measures will convince the CMA. While outcome is expected to be in Microsoft's favor, the CMA may suggest future remedies to ensure minimal efforts on competition in the gaming industry. The CMA decision may also influence regulators like the, the European Commission and the FTC making Activision Blizzard acquisition even easier for Microsoft. Previously, countries like Japan, South Africa, Brazil, and more have already approved the $60.7 billion acquisition. And that is the end of that. So today is uh, <clears throat> April the 24th and the 26th in two days. So the CMA has a decision to make. And then the UK will follow suit. And then the FTC will probably follow suit. But, you know, um, Microsoft, you know, um, they have been... They've been very open about this about this deal, and um, you know they've been working with you know you know with different uh, 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 studios, you know, to you know, and um, and and making sure that they you know they get uh, taken care of. But you know, um, you know, they, they they've been very forthcoming, you know. They really, um, they really beat everybody to the punch with this, you know. That's what this comes down to. And once, you know, once Facebook name came up in the situation, it became evident that Activision Blizzard is up for grabs. That means anybody, any company with big pockets can get them. And Microsoft beat them to the punch. So, um, you know, this at first the CMA didn't agree with the deal at first but but as time went on they saw that Microsoft was being forthcoming you know and um you know they changed their they changed their stance and um Sony um they said um the CMA's um decision is irrational so um they overplayed their hand you know and when Microsoft purchased Activision Blizzard you know Sony could have worked with Microsoft but like Jim Ryan said, his main goal is to um, block the deal. Um, but, you know, um, take two, Valve or Spectators, Tencent and NVIDIA support Microsoft. Um, Japan, South Africa, uh, Ukra uh, what's it, Ukraine, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Chile, Brazil. They support Microsoft in this. You know, Microsoft has been giving out 10-year um, contracts to 
the likes of the EE, Ubitus, Boosteroid, NVIDIA, and Nintendo, um, you know, the FTC, they were trying to use Nintendo to build their case, but they didn't meet the deadline when it came to filing the case, so that's a strike on them, you know. Then on top of that, they didn't give Microsoft their due process, so. Um, right now, you know, um, all Microsoft can do is keep pushing forward now. See this, see this court, see this, um, they made it this far. All they can do now is, is see it all the way through, you know, and then go on from there. But the CMA, they have a decision to make, and then the UK will follow. And FTC probably follow up to that. But um, Microsoft sees, sees the opportunity when it's all, you know, sees the opportunity. Um, you know, Sony, Sony, Sony could have done something. You know, they had the Call of Duty contract, you know. They should have been the first, the first to, um, to call Activision Blizzard, like, and ask some questions, like, you know, is there anything we can do? Can we help you? Can we assist you? Anything. You know, they did nothing. They cared more about Call of Duty. So, you know, it's like they cared more. They cared more about a video game than the actual. They Sony cared more about the video game Call of Duty than the actual people that worked in the building. Microsoft, on the other hand, um, they looked. They were like, okay, well, Facebook tried to get Activision Blizzard. Okay, so that means Activision Blizzard is really up for grabs. Oh, nobody owns Activision Blizzard. Okay, you got the contract. Okay, we'll take care of it. We will absorb whatever, whatever problems Activision Blizzard is going through. We will absorb. We will purchase them and absorb all their problems and take care of it. That's what they did. You know, instead of like waking up every day and and news media outlets always have talking about Activision Blizzard and the problems that's going on, Microsoft purchased Activision Blizzard absorbed all their problems so now Activision's problems becomes Microsoft's problem and go on and Microsoft and go on from there so Microsoft saw that and swooped in got him you know um, you know even I mean like once game pass once Microsoft purchased our Zenimax Bethesda and they got game pass off the ground um, you know, Activision Blizzard just popped up on the radar. You know, you had you had the former boss, uh, Sean Layden from Sony, former uh, PlayStation boss. He was saying that Game Pass is not sustainable. <laughs> well, that that all that, that uh, that's water under the bridge now. Once Activision Blizzard popped up on the radar, Microsoft didn't didn't hesitate. They just went straight for it and didn't look back. You know, so yeah. Activision Blizzard was up for grab and Microsoft purchased them. You know? and, um, uh, Google, 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 um, Google could buy, um, could buy Activision Blizzard. Amazon could do it. Um, Nvidia can buy Activision Blizzard. So can Valve. <laughs> so can Tencent. <laughs> you know, they, they, so can Take Two. So can Sony or Nintendo. Microsoft just beat everybody to it, so yeah. Um, uh, you know, um, that that Activision Blizzard was really up for grabs, you know. First come, first serve, so yeah. Um, they did they did right on this, so yeah. Um, so now they got now they got to wait on the CMA's um, CMA's this decision now, you know, going forward, you know. So yeah, they made it this far. See it all the way through, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and after the CMA makes their decision now, then the UK got to make their decision. Or they might follow it right after that. And then the FTC, you know, so yeah. And, you know, more countries will probably, more, more, Microsoft might, may get more support, may, may get more support behind this. Um, you know, uh, months ago I said, um, that Game Pass, uh, when Game Pass first came out, I, I, I said that Game Pass was like a plat platform for um, independent in, uh, for independent developers to showcase their talents. You know, it was like a stage and a platform for, for independent developers to you know, showcase their skills, their talents, 
and their attributes. But then you had um, you had studio, you had, you had gaming studios, you know, uh, speaking out, speaking out against Sony, and the way they were being mistreated. So, um, Game Pass um, is a is it's a good service, you know, and um, you know, Microsoft they um they were on it. Um, <laughs> once Activision Blizzard popped up, it was like, you know, <laughs> Phil Spencer like. Went to the heads at Microsoft, like, look, we need to jump on this. You know, Activision Blizzard is having problems. We need to jump on this. What do you guys think? You know, Microsoft, heads at Microsoft, they looking at each other, like, okay, what should we do? Asking everybody, like, what should we do? Should we help them? Should we care? Should we assist them? Should we show them sympathy? Should we show them love? Should we show them compassion? Should we leave it alone and mind our own business? Is Activision Blizzard a part of the game industry? What should we do? Okay, go. Done. Deal is done, man. So, yeah. Microsoft beat everybody to this, man. You know, you know, you had people um, that was that was screaming. Uh, you had people that were saying that this was a monopoly. This was never a monopoly. You know, Activision Blizzard was really, really up for grabs. Um, you know, um, <laughs> what Phil Spencer said, uh, what do he say, so Sony and Nintendo, when Game Pass was up, Sony and Nintendo is not our competitors, okay, that means, that means, that means he just looked down that road and saw who the competitors were, and what they bring to the, and what, the, what they bring to the tech industry and the game industry as a whole, so as soon as Activision Blizzard popped up. Microsoft jumped on it right away, <laughs> before before anybody before any other company with big pockets get get to Activision Blizzard, they jumped jumped on it right away. So yeah, they did right, man. So um, you know, just because you buy a um, you buy a game studio, it doesn't it does it does not it doesn't stop the game industry from growing. It doesn't. The game industry uh, you know keeps on moving. You know? um, You've seen studios close, you know. You've seen, I mean, look, I mean, look at all the studios that EA bought, that when they were liquidating studios. Did the game industry stop moving? No, it kept growing, you know. So um, the game industry will continue to thrive after this whole saga, you know. Um, I mean, we have what game shows and you know, like what E3 that was canceled, game developers conference. Conference, QuakeCon, uh, um, Tokyo Game Show, <laughs> BlizzCon, <laughs> uh, Summerfest, you know, those gaming shows, you know, I mean, they're designed to celebrate the achievements in video games, right? But also, it's their design, I mean, they're de they're, those shows are all about networking, you know, it's, it's about talking to different, different people, you know, and studios game studios are formed that way so um the game industry is gonna um it's gonna grow look they were um they just um they just uh you know when they were uh uh f fire firing employees you know a couple 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 month about a month ago when when, when us game studios were doing uh um were firing employees you know you know, those employees that that were that were released or let go, and they and they were getting serv severance packages. You know, they can turn around and form a studio. You know, because they got the skills, they got the um, they have the uh, the ex the expertise in the game industry. So the game industry can grow from that. So the the game industry will always continue to thrive and always continue to grow. You know, um, just because. Just, just because, uh, you know, a company, uh, like, do cutbacks on employees, that don't mean it's all, that don't mean it's the end of the game industry. It means that it gives the, the employees that, that are let go, I mean, they could, they can go work for somebody else, or they could form a studio based on the amount of people that was released. So, um, the game industry will always continue to grow, you know, and, um, um, it's just that, I don't mean, know. Studios get, you know, a studio will always get purchased or be bought, and that's a part of the business. So, um, 
um, Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard. Microsoft purchasing um, Activision Blizzard is not the end all be all. It's not the end all be all to video games. You know, most people were just running, running to Monopoly because that's all they knew. You know, that's all they know. It's Monopoly, but they're forgetting that when we have game shows and and when we have game shows and, and um, seminars and convention, fit, conventions. Yeah, yes, it's about celebrating the the achievements in video games, but it's also about networking. And, and if you talk, the more people you talk to, you can form a studio. <laughs> you can come. You can form a game studio just by meeting people at different shows. So, um, based on the skill set that they have. So, um, Activision Blizzard being purchased is not the end all be all to video games. Um, uh, Microsoft purchasing Cinemax Bethesda, Bethesda is not the end all be all to video games. Is that you got too many um you got some people that like to be negative about stuff and and they don't want to they want they don't want to see the game industry grow grow as a whole. They want stuff to stay the the same so to speak. So if stuff keeps staying the same um they, they, if stuff keeps staying the um staying the same then it, then it will never be progress. So this um this purchase that Microsoft just made, you know, it just it just it just woke up it, it woke up it, it wake up the um it wake up the game industry and um you know you know people you know game studios are looking at themselves like okay what what is a, what is our value here in this video you know you know I mean self examination begins like okay what is our value in this game industry you know what what is our uh, what is our worth you know what are we here for that's what this deal just did. Just woke up everybody. <laughs> woke up everybody. So, um, Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard, man, um, is not the is is not the end all be all to video games, man. You know, Sony is mad that Microsoft beat them to beat them to Activision Blizzard while they had the contract. So is Google. So is Amazon. You know, Tencent got money to spend. <laughs> so and, and video got money to spend. Um, you know, so was Nintendo. So, um, um, uh, Microsoft did did good here. So, um, um, the game industry will continue to grow. The game industry will continue to grow from this. They will um, continue to thrive and continue to grow. Um, this this was just the Activision Blizzard purchase purchase was just a wake up call to the entire to wake up call to Sony and Nintendo. Like, um, you know. Stop taking the video game industry for granted. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek. Thank you.